coming to you. I'm in Ireland. I'm in the coastal town of Waterford. And I'm here to see how crystal is made. Waterford is known for lots of things. One of the most important things is Waterford crystal. Crystal is a very special kind of glass. Crystal has iron in it. It's much better than normal glass. Crystal is usually used for fancy things. It is expensive. I'm here to learn about the history of this special glass. And because I love science, I want to know how it's made. If you hold crystal up to light, it makes a rainbow. Waterford crystal is very valuable because of the beautiful designs. Waterford crystal started here 200 years ago. Our first stop was to see the master blowers at work. They train for many years to understand how to make crystal. When a piece begins, it's hot molten crystal. These temperatures reach 2,400 degrees. They blow in it to make it bigger. put it into a mold before it gets cold. The molds are made of beech and pear wood. Because the crystal is so hot, the wood mold only lasts for seven days. It is hot, really, really hot. Each masterpiece is carefully inspected to make sure it's perfect. And guess what? If each piece isn't perfect, they smash it and remelt it. When the first shape has been made, they slowly spin it and cut it off. Feel the heat. Don't touch it, don't touch it. He's just saying it's it's hot. Once a piece is formed, it goes to the cutting factory. The master cutters go through decades of training. They have to memorize hundreds of patterns. They're the ones that add the beautiful details. Master Cutter has to have a lot of skill. They have to get the exact pressure to get on the crystal without breaking it. It's so loud in there, they have to protect their ears. If they push too hard, the crystal breaks. piece gets the special Waterford logo. It's a seahorse with a shamrock in its tail. If somebody says they have the Waterford crystal and it doesn't have the seahorse on it, it's not real. A vase like this costs more than $250. Do you know how they make the cuts? With an industrial diamond. Diamonds are the hardest thing in the whole world. They put through the stone. Yeah, go watch. I won't put skin. Amazing, isn't it? That's the same as what a dentist uses on his drill. It will cut your teeth, but it won't cut your gum. It's enough for a diamond. That magic. We can actually stop the wheel with our hands. Do you know what? That diamond can cut my teeth or my fingernails, but it can't cut my skin. 
They also make crystal sculptures by hand. A piece like this can take weeks or months to make. Every year they give this to the President of the United States on St. Patrick's Day. Waterford Crystal is a must-see place. Every kid has to see this workshop. Thanks for coming with me to see how Waterford Crystal is made.